Hello everyone, this video is being created to solve the problem of many of you had that we mentioned yesterday in class. Some of you didn't have a credit statement or title for your drawing, or some of you had wrong locations for the drawing title, the specific the word aligns, and some of you had a typo of professor's name. So this video is created to um, teach you how to do that in Photoshop without redoing the whole sheet and rescanning the whole sheet and cleaning up the whole sheet. Okay, so the idea is to write. So if you didn't have any credit statement, you forgot all of it. What you could do is to avoid rescanning your drawing. Here, as you see, I'm using one of our class uh, members' work. Here, use it as an example. Um, if you forgot to include the credit statement, drawing title, etc., to avoid writing it directly on it and re-cleaning up this drawing one more time in Photoshop, what you could do is to write your text in a different blank sheet as I show over here. So basically your uh, assignment number, names, lines, and your name here, I use a, a random name, Taylor Smith, it's not your name. And then here's the credit statement, the class number, OSU, and professor's name. What you could do once you scan this separate sheet in, what you could do is to copy this whole sheet over and paste it to this line drawing sheet. Before you copy and paste, here's something that I want you to make sure you pay attention. Otherwise, you won't be able to copy paste right at its right size. Okay, two things to check. Number one, to check the, uh, the uh, this credit statement sheet, make sure that it's image mode in, sorry, image mode, and grayscale mode or RGB mode, okay? A lot of times after you scan it, it might put you automatically on bitmap mode. Bitmap won't allow you to paste things over. So make sure it's at least grayscale. If it's a black and white drawings, it needs to be grayscale. If it's color drawing, it needs to be RGB color mode, okay? This is the one thing to check both the file, make sure they are in the right mode. So I'm checking. The second one, oh, see that? This says bitmap. You have to click on grayscale and here just directly click on OK. Now the mode of this drawing is converted into grayscale versus bitmap. Bitmap won't let you copy things over. Okay, that's number one thing to check. Number two thing to check, go back to the credit statement sheet you will need to check the resolutions. Okay, again, uh, it's under image, go to image size. It here says resolution 300 pixel per inch. So that's a 300. And let's go to the other one, line drawing file, and to check the resolution here as well, image size. Okay, this is 300 as well. If one is a 200, the other is a 300. I suggest you to change the 200 to be 300. No matter what, the two files need to be having the same resolution. That's the key. All right. Okay. So now both of these two files are at a 300 DPI resolution. You're good to go. Okay. Go back to the title sheet. What do you need to do is a control A, which is select all. So I'm going to just press control A on my keyboard. See this marquee is circling the entire space of this file. That's a select all, right? And then you press Control C. Okay, that's copy. And come over to this line drawing. Do Control V, which is paste. And now you're going to discover you actually have two layers. And then the, this new layer is covering your bottom layer. You're going to say, what do I do this instance? So what you could do is go up over here. And here it shows normal. So the drop down menu, click on it and then click on multiply. See, it's magical. So now the two layers 
of objects are actually being transparent to each other. You can see through. Okay. In case you paste over the location, see the the name. My name is so close to this line. What you could do is to make sure you select on layer one. Sometimes it's default on layer two. This this layer. Make sure you select on this layer, and then use this tool, this move tool, and then you can move around. See, use your cursor, pick it up, and then move around a little bit. See, I'm moving it around, moving up a little bit so that it's not touching the lines. So now it's very cohesive all together. And um, at this point, you could either flatten the layers. So meaning that you collapse all the layers into one big layer, or you could just do file, save as, and here I'm going to choose my own computer and choose my desktop to save. And then line drawing, I'm going to rename this with, with credit statement. Okay. And then I'm going to do save. Oh, choose PDF file. Don't forget that. So save PDF file. Now I'm going to go to my desktop see to check the new file okay open it up with adobe so control zero is to show the full screen now i have my work done with the credit statement statement in so this way you just need to scan the new credit statement sheet and then overlay it on top of your drawing with an additional layer in Photoshop and then save as a new PDF and then you're done so that you don't have to clean up your original drawing and, you know, scan, recleaning and all that. Okay, so we solved the first problem. And for those who had a, a little bit problem um, so say there's a typo, what do you do? Okay, so here's, here's let me um, do that with an example. Okay, so let's say your name is Tay, uh, Taylor um, versus uh, Taylor, okay, Maybe making up a name, okay, and then you had a typo. So all you need to do is here, because right now you know that the title created credit statement is on layer one, right? So make sure you select a layer one and then use the selection select tool, the rectangular marquee tool over here and then select, clear, carefully select R, okay? Because that's the word you want to get rid of because your name is a Kalo, not Kalo, not Taylor. And then you hit delete button key on your keyboard and then it's gone. Okay, as easy as that. And then you click anywhere and then the marquee will be gone. Okay, let's use another example. Okay, um, so I'm undoing it. Let's say your name is Tayer. There shouldn't be L. Okay, what do you do? So this instance, what you need to do is select on layer one. Again, make sure you're on layer one active and still use marquee tool over here, rectangular marquee tool, select OR, okay. Carefully select OR. And to see, I select a tiny bit of L here. So what you can do is use your key the four directional keys on your keyboard, the up, down, left, right keys. So move the marquee to the right tiny bit. See, now I avoid selecting any L. Okay, so now it's a pure OR. And my name is the Taylor, not Taylor, right? What you need to do is move your cursor to this button. Uh, this is the move tool, okay? So now you choose a move tool. And then now use your four directional keys, left, right, top, bottom. Use, use the left key in this instance. So you're moving OR towards left to cover L because your name is a Tayer, right? So now you actually covered letter L, which is the actual word. Okay. So now you click on anywhere on the screen, you're able to delete them. Um, marquee. 
Yeah. So that's how you do it. Um, correct the, um, uh, a typo, et cetera, so that um, you don't have to redo a whole lot of work. This will just make it a five minutes fix versus uh, rescan, recleaning everything. But if you're, you have a fairly clean sheet, you do want to, you, you choose to write it on top of your original sheet and then rescan everything, you can certainly do that. But if it's not the case, this is a really good route to do that. And I'm offering everybody a resubmission opportunity to resubmit it before a deadline, which I will send you an email to specify what that new deadline is. All right, everybody, if you have questions, feel free to get hold of me during class, class break or um, outside class time when I'm in my office or email me anytime. Thank you. Hope this is helpful to you.